Brokox got a new pistol, and this time around it comes with a Huma regulator, a Lothar Walther barrel, an externally adjustable hammer spring, an externally adjustable transfer port, and side lever cocking. And it even comes with one of these. Coming up. AEAC is made possible by Air Venturi, Hawk Optics, Diana Air Guns, FX Air Guns, Day State, Air Arms, Sports Match Rings UK, H&N Sport, Aztec Optics, and JSB Predator Pellets. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Seven hundred is to bolt on a hundred and fifty. But this, I feel like I could do a one-handed, and I could still. Um, as always, operation manager for hot Balls already. I've done a full tuning guide on this on my maybe ten. Granted, we're talking a twenty-five-yard cut. The Brocock Atomic XR is made in England and adds a regulated pistol carbine conversion to Brocock's establishment of ultra-high performance sporting rifles. Rules vary by market, but in the US we get both the pistol and carbine offered only as a bundle. And in the UK they'll likely get a 12 foot-pound version of the carbine. Here it's available in 177 and 22 and comes in poly black alloy. The pistol weighs about 5 pounds scoped and is 15 inches long. The carbine weighs in at about 6 pounds scoped and measures 24 to 27 inches long, depending on what position you've got its mil-spec extendable buttstock in. The US market Atomic XR ships with 11mm rails machined into the top of the receiver, and a separate 11mm riser, as well as a Picatinny lower. It also comes with a metal 11 round magazine and a poly single shot tray. A slick air superiority accessory external hammer spring adjuster for the pistol, and a not so convenient internal hammer spring adjuster that works with the stock attached. For $150 more than the $1,500 package price, one can also have the nifty air superiority accessory external hammer spring adjuster that works in carbine form. And for a final Franklin over that, one can buy a Brocock upper pick rail set to complement the standard lower. So in short, Pick rails all the way around and external hammer spring adjusters for both pistol and carbine bring the Atomic XR to $1,750. Add a very useful moderator for between $130 and $270 and you're in for $1,880 to $2,020. The warranty is three years and the Atomic can be had from the good folks at Air Guns of Arizona. To be clear, the Atomic asks a lot but offers a lot in exchange. 5 to 6 pounds and 15 to 27 inches long shoot ready is just the beginning. Its microscopic 45cc air reservoir is a hand pumper's dream and fills in seconds off of the smallest portable bottles. Aided by a Huma regulator and floating hammer style valve, it provides extraordinary efficiency and tunability, especially when coupled with the air superiority external hammer spring adjuster. In no time I came up with 7 custom tunes varying between 16 foot-pounds by 40 shots or 20 foot-pounds by 20 shots. All accuracy verified and most all with extreme spreads in the area of just 10 feet per second. Marry all of that to a forgiving match grade Lothar Walther barrel that likes hunting pellets and a high performance Brocock trigger group and you've got a winner in the pistol sub carbine conversion category. The gun also takes advantage of a shrouded barrel with one half inch UNF threads for your favorite moderator, a three position external transfer port adjuster to fine tune efficiency, a firearm grade UK source buffer tube with mission first tactical stock, and a manual paddle safety out in front of an adjustable match grade two stage trigger. So is the Brocock Atomic XR right for you? The Atomic's inventors insist that it's a pistol first, and when you look at it from the perspective of its 11 inch barrel, 45 cc air reservoir, and 16 to 20 foot pounds of energy effective operating window, then it firmly is. And in this configuration, and in the hands, it feels like a big giant air pistol, on account of its one piece tub chassis. And with the cocking lever on the right, albeit extremely refined, it's a cumbersome cycle for righties. But what makes it ho-hum while waving around also makes it excellent off the bipod. That one-piece tub chassis with integrated pick rail absolutely anchors it. 
making it really fun to shoot this way. So long as you keep velocities in the neighborhood of 700 feet per second with a 14 to 18 grain pellet. Stray much outside of that and the gun's barrel and harmonics will start to penalize you. But stay around it and the gun is extraordinarily accurate and crazy fun and crazy easy to shoot well. But where things get nuts is in carbine form. Now the pistol's cumbersome loadup becomes fast and easy. And the third point of contact allows you to keep your offhand on the gun, speeding everything up immensely. So while they say it's a pistol, I say sure, but it's a better carbine. And it's a good pistol, so long as it's on a bipod. Or you're big and strong and don't need to do things quickly. Alright guys, now we finally got confirmation from the factory that the air reservoir on the Atomic XR is an astonishing 45 cc's. And that's probably because that Huma regulator comes out to about here. Now what that means to you is that this is probably going to be a really good candidate if you're on the hand pump because it'll be easy, easy to quickly fill. And because it gets an astonishing number of shots between 15 and 20 foot pounds per fill, that's going to contribute to it being a really good doomsday prepping, ranching, backpacking, going to the cabin, you know, sort of, uh, sort of little thump gun. But to refill, rotate the dust cover to expose the fill port. There it goes. And sorry for the background noise, guys. The neighbor's cutting his grass. And slowly fill to no more than 250 bar. And I mean like really slowly, because the reservoir is so small, it's going to fill quickly pretty much no matter what, and that's going to cause a heat spike in there. And what that means to you is as that hot air cools off, you're going to get pressure drop. So what you want to do is when you get to 250 bar, boom, there it is. Take a second and watch it, and you'll watch that needle fall as that air charge quickly cools. Give it a few seconds to a few moments, depending on what you're doing. And give it another little squirt to bring it back up. And that's pretty much holding pretty good. Now when you're done, bleed the air between your fill source and the gun. Remove the fill probe and rotate the dust cover back to the closed position. That's all there is to it. If you'd like to learn how to set up and tune your Atomic, check me out on my second YouTube channel, 8YAC Vlog. It's over there that I bring everyone in on my discovery and approach as I learn my way through these guns and work my way towards a full review of them here on 8YAC Home. So for air gun tuning, and for a lot of learned information that I don't share here, check me out there. Accuracy, and then tuning, and then we'll, I'll close it out showing you how to take everything apart and put it back together. So the biggest takeaway, blanketing statement for accuracy, aim for 700 feet per second. No matter what you shoot, if it's a 14 grain, aim for 700. If it's an 18 grain, aim for 700. There's something about 700 that this gun just really, really, really liked. And as I said, if you deviate too far out of that, below 690, accuracy starts to fall apart. Above 720, accuracy starts to fall apart. Um, I did try pushing some GTOs 
and some Barracuda greens with that second washer and the hammer spring, which I'll show you later, to um, to the higher velocities. Like, you know, we see, we, we know from all our other guns that pellets stabilize at 850 to 880 very well. Um, redesigns will go to 910 and the wind well, but that's kind of your sweet spot. So I was trying to get to that 850 and I just couldn't quite get there <laughs> with all this stuff and the way this gun's set up. So you can't get up into this area. So you might as well just live in this area and, okay. and recognize that this is, this is a niche gun. Again, it's a thump gun. It's a backpack gun. It's super light to carry around in the woods and, and uh, pop small game at 25 to 50 yards. The Atomic has manners rooted in championship DNA. And just like its big brother, the Commander XR, it behaves appropriate to the price point. All of the switch gear are jewel-like, and the borrowed Lothar Walther and Huma componentry are top shelf. Just ask Claudio Flores from Patagonia, Chile. Him and his brocock went home with $5,000 in first place in the 2018 International Extreme Bench Rest Shooting Competition. Lump that winning tech together with Daystate Brocock British quality, and you've got a nice product. By the way, that flyer was a bad pellet. It wasn't me or the gun. That's just part of air gunning. Tuned to 17 and a half foot pounds, the Atomic's shrouded moderatorless barrel is really quite loud. I would put it in the territory of a 22 short or a subsonic 22 long rifle. Thankfully, Brocock equips the Atomic with one half inch UNF threads up here at the business end. That way you can thread on your own moderator. This one here is made by Zero DB and quiets down this pistol carbine in a gigantic way. The new air superiority brand was invented and developed by Precision Air Gun Distribution. And Precision Air Gun Distribution is owned by Air Guns of Arizona. And they're also the North American distributor for Daystate, Brocock, and MTC, who are coincidentally all one company. So when you're buying a Brocock, you're buying a Daystate. And when you're buying an MTC, you're buying a Daystate and a Brocock. And when you're buying an air superiority Daystate, Brocock, or MTC, you're also buying a Precision Air Gun Distribution and or Air Guns of Arizona. It's all kind of one big happy family that learns, grows, and develops together. Oh, <laughs> and that big 0 dB moderator you see hanging off the front? It's made by Daystate. The pistol scope I'm using is made by Virau, and it's their 2x20. The mounts for it are the Sports Metrings UK TO4C. And the mounts I'm using for the MTC in carbine form are the TO-54C. It is just not my day for uniform pellets. But with the Crossman Premieres, it's kind of to be expected. The scope I used on the carbine is the MTC Optics Mamba Ultralight 3 to 10 by 40 I just finished torturing this scope for over 500 rounds on the Vibrow HW97K Springer Reviews. And it's still going strong. For just 300 bucks, it's lightweightness and one inch tube and crazy clear and sharp glass and reticle keep me coming back to it. With side focus AO ranging and an illuminated reticle being the cherries on top. This particular MTC is quickly becoming a favorite for its overall value. The trigger set in the Atomic XR is the exact same one that we've come to know 
via the Brocock Compato, the Sniper XR, the Commander XR, and the Concept Light XR. Like those, it's a match grade two stage, which is adjustable. Now, typically those have arrived to me breaking at about three, three and a half pounds for review. And by referring to the owner's manual, it, manual, it was easy to readjust those brake weights down to around a pound or so. This one seems to have arrived to me breaking much lighter and we'll get the gauge on it here in just a second. Now the first stage take up is clean and light and it comes up against a nice resettable stop. And with a little bit more pressure, that sear is going to snap like glass. Out of the box, one pound, 2.6 ounces. If you've made it this far, you deserve to know. The RDW next to this video's title stands for Review, Discuss, Win. That's where the industry likes to give back to our audiences by giving away product over at the Erga Nation Forum and kicking off that event here at AEAC. And it's with great pride that I share that this one's also open to the United Kingdom in addition to the United States. Now, Michael Went, the owner of the Airgun Nation Forum, deserves all the credit for making that happen, as does Air Guns of Arizona here in the US and Daystate Brocock over in the UK. So if you'd like to encourage our industry to host more of these international giveaways, please be sure to pipe up in the comments here, as well as over on the Airgun Nation Forum, and let them know how you feel about it. You can also keep them encouraged by being sure to enter the giveaway. It's simple lottery based, and it's as easy as picking a number and entering it over at the Airgun Nation Forum. So we're in this together, guys. The more you that participate, the more likely it is that we'll be able to have another one for you. If we have a winner in the US, they will win the actual gun I used in the making of this video. To include the pistol, carbine, 11 millimeter riser, and all three hammer spring adjusters, as well as some scope mounts from Sportsmatch, and some goodies from JSB and H&N and a cleaning kit. If we have a winner in the UK, it'll be up to Daystate to decide what they get over there. Listen carefully and you'll hear a swirling wind come up just before this last shot, showing the vulnerability of lighter weight, slower moving pellets. But it also shows how incredibly true they can fly and just how much fun a moderately powered PCP pistol can be. Well, that is all for today, guys. And special thanks to Brocock, Air Guns of Arizona, MTC Optics, Sports Match Rings UK, and Zero DB Moderators for getting all of this into my hands to review for you. You guys know the best way to thank them for that one. Now, from here, you all want to head on over to the Air Gun Nation Forum so that you can participate in the discussion thread and the giveaway on the Brocock Atomic XR. I'll leave you links on how to get there in the description down below. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck everyone.